Hi, this is Rachel with the Oregon Virtual School District training team and with the High Desert Education Service District in Central Oregon. This is a video response to a question posted on the Google Apps for Education Technical Forum listserv in January 2012. In this video, I'll walk through embedding multiple calendars as a single calendar on a website. The use case for this example is individual calendars for schools in a district that can then be aggregated at the district level as a single district calendar. You could extend that example into individual sports team calendars which could be aggregated at the again district or school level or curriculum teams, activities, clubs, anything with individual calendar editors that can be mashed together at a higher group level. So what I've done already is created three calendars for our example. And you'll see as I scroll through my list, I have one for Juniper Middle School, one for Pine Elementary, and one for Sage High School. I've also gone ahead and created a few events on each of those calendars, so we would have some items to display in this video. The easiest way to embed is, of course, on a Google site. I'm going to pretend that my Beaverton Tech Camp professional development site here is a district calendar. I went ahead and created a page called District Calendar. And when I'm on that page, I can edit it. And of course, under the Insert menu is Calendar. When I click Calendar, my full calendar list appears. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose Juniper Middle School and then select. And you'll notice it pulls in that calendar. And there's also a link to display another calendar. This time I'll scroll down to Pine Elementary School, select it, and it's added to the list and color-coded. Display another calendar. Sage High School. And you can customize these settings here. The Really the only thing I worry about for sure on a multiple calendar embed is I go ahead and take off the calendar name and the title. You could have one or the other, but sometimes if you forget to unclick those, you have conflicting titles. So I click Save, and then I'll save the page. And here's our district calendar. The editors at each one of these sites are managing their own calendars, and we're mashing those events together into a single district site. If I want to have this same calendar display on a page or in a site that's not a Google site, this is a Drupal site, I still get to my editor, and in this case I want to make sure that I'm in the source editor or the HTML editor. There's usually a toggle switch somewhere. If I go back to my calendar, in the little arrow or triangle next to one of those school calendars, if I click on that, there's a calendar settings link. And in the middle of that page, there's an embed this calendar tool. You'll notice there's a link to customize the color, size, and other options. When I click on that, it gives me the embed code that I need, an iframe snippet for a, a non-Google site. The neat thing here is that we can select multiple calendars. So you'll see here's my list. I can go ahead and add Pine and Juniper. You'll see that calendar looks very familiar from what we saw earlier. I click Update HTML. I select all of my text and copy it. I go back to my example page, paste it right in, Click Save, and now when I refresh my view, there's our calendar. I love being able to do this. It's made lives easier for parents, students, teachers, and administrators in our districts in Oregon. Thanks!